Hey folks, this is my 2015 Chevy Spark. It, uh, I got it a few years ago and I've done the most of the maintenance uh, by myself. Uh, I think the biggest maintenance uh, that I did was the transmission fluid. I'd never done it before on any of my cars. And today I'm just gonna show you how to access the areas uh, so that you can uh, change it yourself if that's what you wanted to do. So. Um, Again, this is a 2015 Chevy Spark, and in order to access the, uh, the area to fill up the CVT fluid, uh, you have to remove this air filter uh, container. So for that, you're going to need to remove this part here. Uh, just loosen that up, and you're going to need a socket, a 10 millimeter socket, and you're going to need to unbolt these, uh, these two bolts. So let's do that right now, really quickly. So, while I unscrew this, uh, let me just tell you a little bit about uh, my experience in having changed my transmission fluid. So, um, it's not too difficult. You just go underneath, you drop the pan, you make sure you have enough, um, you have a big container to hold all the transmission fluid. And uh, you have to make sure you use the, the proper fluid, because if you use something else, what's going to end up happening is... Uh, your CVT is going to start to slip. And by that, I mean when you're driving around, uh, when you initially take off, it's going to sound a little like a, a bit of a whine, and that's the CVT not really uh, having the proper fluid inside. And uh, so, let me just pull this off. There we go. It's off. So, we've used our 10 millimeter socket. Uh, we used our flathead screwdriver to, you know, loosen that. Now we're going to pull this to the side. Now you can see there's a, it kind of slips into that area, so just make sure you pull that back. And so now you've exposed kind of this lower portion. And what most people will see is just a bunch of stuff, but, you know, what you're looking for is is that right there. Uh, you can kind of see it. That's where you fill up with a uh, CVT fluid. And so you're going to need a tool, something with a 90 degree angle, like this. And this is basically like a little clip cap. So, you know, you grab your tool, and you kind of slide your hand in over here, and kind of down underneath, you, you can kind of feel this here. You kind of jiggle it, wiggle it. You have to, let's see, it might take a minute, but you know, with these things, patience is important. I think I got it, yeah. So once you use your tool, you can kind of see that the, uh, the dipstick slips out. So you pull that out and here you can see the uh, the fill level, the lower and the, the upper. And that's about it. So you just get a funnel and uh, you know I definitely recommend you exploring this before you uh, you start. Just make sure you can find it and that'll save you some trouble. Put it back on there. And the CVT fluid that you want to use is uh, is this one right here. This is left over, but it's um, AC Delco CVT fluid, 104092, 19260800. Um, if you use anything else, it's it's going to cause your CVT to slip. And in what I've read in the forums, it says that. Uh, you need this specific fluid, and it's blue. This fluid is, you can't tell because this container is black, but uh, the fluid is blue. So uh, definitely buy, buy the uh, recommended type, because if not, you're just gonna end up having a slipping CVT. So um, each bottle runs about 10 bucks, so you need six quarts, and so that'll be about 60 bucks on top of the Oh, excuse me. Uh, whatever tool you need to buy, and 
me see. Is there anything else? I, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, if you feel like this has helped you, or if you need a little more direction, feel free to let me know. And uh, just post something down in the comments, and uh, I'll try to help you out if I can. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.